Thomas and friends making tracks to great destinations. Dear Christopher, here is your friend Thomas the Tank Engine. He wanted to come out of his station yard and see the world. These stories tell you how he did it. I hope you will like them because you helped me to make them. Your loving daddy. of Sodor is surrounded by beautiful blue sea. It has fields of green and sandy yellow beaches. There are rivers, streams, and lots of trees where the birds sing. There are windmills and a coal mine, and docks where visitors to the island arrive. The island also has lots and lots of railway lines. Who's that puffing down the track? It's Thomas! Hello, Thomas! Hello, everybody! Welcome to the island of Sodor! Today on the island of Sodor, we find out what happens when Percy discovers a track is wobbling. And we find out who will collect the circus from Brendam Docks. First, Gordon is making some very strange noises. Gordon is big and blue and the fastest engine on all of Sodor. He loves pulling the express. Gordon thinks it makes him the most important engine on the island. One day, Gordon was pulling the express out of Brendam Docks. But Diesel was on the same line. Out of my way, sniffed Gordon. Express train coming through. Diesel had to back off. This made him cross. You steamies are old and clapped out, he sneered. When Sir Topham Hat realizes this, you'll all be scrapped. Scrapped, scoffed Gordon. Pah, I'm as fast as I ever was. And he chuffed proudly out of the docks. Gordon was speeding through the beautiful countryside. He was having a wonderful day. But then he heard a horrible squeaking noise. Gordon was upset. Squeaking could only mean one thing. Something was wrong. What if Diesel's right, he thought. What if Sir Topham Hat scraps me? Gordon squeaked sadly up the hill. The hill was steep, and Gordon had to slow down. The slower he went, the quieter the squeak became. Gordon was delighted. Aha, uh -huh, he said. If I go slowly, no one will hear me squeak. 
and he chuffed slowly back to Tidmouth's sheds. That evening, Sir Topham Hatt came to see Gordon. Tomorrow is a very special day, he said. I am taking some village children on a boat trip. You, Gordon, are to take us to Brendam Docks. The boat leaves at nine o'clock, so you must not be late. The next morning, Gordon waited for everyone to go. Then he puffed slowly away so no one would hear his squeak. Once out of the sheds, he started to pick up speed. His pistons pumped, and his wheels spun, and he began to squeak again. Oh my, said Gordon. 